And welcome in, everybody. Glad you're with us. Interleague Baseball on MLB The Show. It's the Cleveland Guardians and the Chicago Cubs. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. Just about to get underway and on the hill in this one, Justin Steele. What's the scouting report on him? Well, there are going to be a lot of balls in play because of the ground ball rate. Important that the defense stays engaged in the game. I think it's critical. Tempo is there. If you work quickly, it helps the fielders behind you to stay engaged, to make those plays, and help you get through the innings. So in now for Cleveland, Stephen Kwan. And the pitch. Misses outside. And this one is off and running. Left hand batter waits. That's a ball. Misses with the 2 0, and he's fired three straight outside the strike zone. And there's the strike. Popped up. Wisdom falls it in, and there's one away. Here's Jose Ramirez. You know, singing Jose Ramirez signed that big extension, a five year, $124 million contract before the 2022 season. But right before that happened, the Guardians came this close to trading him. The 0 1 tapped at the plate, but it's a foul ball. One down, base is empty. Hit on the ground to the right side. The flip to the pitcher covering. Two quick outs at the top of the first here tonight. The first baseman, number 22, Josh Naylor. On the north side of Chicago, John Chambi and Chris Singleton. And now it's Josh Naylor. In there at the knees. 0-1. And strike two. Left hand hitter waits. Foul ball, it stays, nothing in two. And a pitch. Got it by him for the K. Guardians fail to score. And now it'll be the Cubs' turn in a scoreless ball game. You're dialed into the show. Back here at the friendly confines. And today's starting pitcher, Lucas Giolito. What do we have on him? Well, most pitchers today are pretty tall, but this guy's definitely taller than most. He's kind of an imposing figure out there, especially when he's standing on top of the bump. It's like he's looking down on you, so hitters have to be prepared for a couple of things. Ball can get on you a lot quicker because of the extension and release point, and then also tilt through the zone. If you're going to try to hit pitches at the bottom of the zone, it's going to be difficult to get on plane. So look for something up from this guy. You might have a chance to do some damage. Pete Crow Armstrong in the box now. No balls and a strike. Next pitch misses inside. One and one. Here's a fun fact on Lucas Giolito. He and his former high school teammate Max Freed both will take a scouting report the night before their start and then go through it by playing MLB The Show. The 2-1. 
Ball three. That one misses. So a leadoff walk. Now this was a story we were paying attention to before the game. We've seen him give up walks in the past, and it's an issue once again early on. Stepping in, the slugging shortstop, Christopher Morell. Pitch misses. Ball one. Crow Armstrong aboard here at first with nobody out. Giolito moves to first. And he's just back in. Oh, close play. And the 1 0. -oh. This one lifted in the air, left field. And it falls. Throw back in quickly. First and second now with nobody out. That's a ball that a lot of times you'll see the shortstop or left fielder be able to get to if it hangs up in the air long enough. But right there, it just died and found a way to drop in on the green stuff, a base hit. A chance now to take the lead, and at this point in the game, that could be a deciding run. Now batting Jamer Candelario. First offering, misses the mark. Righty to the plate. And that one fouled off. The pitch. Could be some action here on this next pitch. Couple runners on. Probably a challenge pitch coming. First and second here. No outs. That one in for a strike, two and two. Righty delivers. Struck him out looking. Now it's Alexander Canario. Pitch misses there. And that's ball one. At the dish, looking to lift the ball in the air in this spot. Anything but the inning, inning double play, boo. The 1 0. And that's in for a strike. One ball, one strike. The 1 1 is fouled off. Two on, one out. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. So first and second with two outs. So up now for Chicago, number 40. And that is in for a strike. Going one. Right-hander kicks, deals, ball. and that's down and away. One ball, one strike. Two outs, a couple of base runners at first and second. Next pitch is outside. It's a big opportunity right here, but I love the way he's slowing the game down. He's shrinking his zone, making sure he gets the pitch that he wants to hit. At the belt and fires. Swing and a foul straight back. Two on, two outs. And down on strikes he goes. That's the third out. Inning over. Nothing for the Cubbies in the opening frame. Out of the second now from Wrigley with no score.
Here at Wrigley Field, here's Ramon Laureano. Ramon Laureano. And here it comes. All one there. And there's a strike. Ed Drummond behind the plate calling balls and strikes. Maybe one of the most respected umpires around the league. He's not the kind of umpire that you're likely to notice back there. And that can be a huge compliment, really. So if you're just kind of quietly doing your job, staying consistent with your calls, hitters, pitchers, Aye. managers, even fans, they're all going to appreciate you. Ed Drummond, he's that kind of umpire. Next pitch in the dirt. Two and two. Cap dances out of the way of that one. And now the lefty goes down looking. Clearly looking out over the plate on that outer third, and that pitch finished. Right down the middle, just a little bit in, and he couldn't pull the trigger. Digging in, it's the speedy outfielder, Oscar Gonzalez. Not close with that one. Ball one. No score here in the second. Swing and this one's bounced to the ground. Morell slings to first. Two up, two down. That is it. The shortstop. Brian. Here's Brian Rocchio. Brown ball to the right side. And foul ball. And a pitch. Slapped foul. Two down, nobody on. That's outside. Yeah, the count one and two. Good eye right there. Recognize that changeup right out of the hand. Just spit on it. Here's a two two. In the air to left center. He can't get there. It's a base hit. Just a cookie down the middle. I mean, those are the ones you dream about. The ones in the cage, you're just hoping you get in the ball game. Right down the middle, not a whole lot of velocity. Right on top of it. Two outs, runner at first. Stepping up for the Guardians. Puts it in the air out towards left center. Pulls it down and he makes the catch. And that is that. One left for the Guardians. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. We head to the bottom of the second. So up now for Chicago, Patrick Wisdom. He is very much your typical power hitter. I'd say he falls into the three true outcomes category. But we've seen more and more of that lately. The ability to drive the ball to slog is getting heavily favored over any discipline or strikeout concerns. The pitch. Hard hit left side. Rokio jump throw. And quickly one away in the second. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Lets the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. And next for the Cubs, Jared Young. You know, we talk so much about how guys prepare for a start. For Giolito, one of the things that's really cool, he actually uses scouting reports and then plays MLB nope. the show to execute how he's going to go about attacking hitters. The 1-0. So the night before his start, 
he effectively goes over the lineup he anticipates he's going to face and plays the game. So he goes through an entire opposing lineup on MLB The Show, utilizing his own scouting report the team provided. And he walked him. Definitely lost the handle during that sequence. Four pitches for the walk, and that last one didn't even threaten the zone. Getcher might want to go talk to him. One down, and now it's Miguel Amaya. For Giolito, it actually is an idea that kind of came together with his buddy Max Freed. They played together in high school in Los Angeles, and they're not sure who started at first, but in 2019, they each began to go over scouting reports using point. MLB The Show. The pitch. with two strikes may see some movement over there at first base try to stay out of a double play here next offering is down low and the count is two and two and a swing and a miss and two away now Came inside with that two-strike fastball nicely and just bunched him up on the inside part of the plate. Couldn't get around on it and catch it out front. Many times if you do, it's a foul ball. And you know a lot of pitchers, they really don't like working inside with two strikes because they do not want to hit that batter. And when they've got him up against the ropes, got to figure out a way to put him away. Did a nice job right there. Miles Mastroboni in the box with two gone. And takes a look at a called strike. And the righty deals. Ball, that's outside. Oh, he's really working him away this at bat. Sometimes take a little bit off velocity. Try to get a rollover, something on the ground. Stay away from that big hole on the right side of the infield. Next pitch is Ball, outside. Foul ball. Young off of first with two away. Swing and a miss for the strikeout. Couldn't catch up to the heater. One left for the Cubs. We'll move to the third with no score. Welcome back. And now, Tyler Freeman. The pitch. And that one missing low. Swing and a miss. Here comes a pitch. Swing and a tapper that rolls foul. This one in the air center field. Crow Armstrong should have it. And makes the grab. And there's one down. And up next for Cleveland, Jose Tena. That one misses. And it's one to know. If you're the pitcher, you've got to go right at this guy. It's the number nine hitter in the lineup. You can't be afraid of contact in this situation. They tried to get him to chase on a slider down and away. That misses, and the count is three and one.
and fouled off. The pitch. Swing and a miss. Got him to go up the ladder for the K. Thought it was a pretty good pitch. Top of the strike zone. We're seeing more fastballs in that location. Hitters, especially with two strikes, have to be ready to pull the trigger. And a foul ball. And the 0 1. That's down and in. Pitch misses inside. Now two balls and a strike. Well, he's so great about hitting the ball the other way. He gets those arms extended. So right there, just trying to straighten him up a little bit so he doesn't have as much outside plate coverage. Jose Ramirez to bat next. The 3-1. Swing and a foul over the screen and back out of play. Payoff pitch. Lifted in the air down the left side. Morell makes a nice grab at a full sprint. Guardians go down one, two, three. And we are still scoreless. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. And now the center fielder, Pete Crow Armstrong. We talk about guys with good speed, and definitely he has it. But pushing the offense aside for just a second, Chris, it's the defensive side that I think the speed factors in the most. Well, he gets to balls that get by most people at that position. Just really impressive because there are certain times the ball comes off the bat, automatically that team that hit it thinks that they've got a base hit or they may have extra bases, and he just takes it away. Christopher Morell, the next Cub to hit. He's a big, strong guy, can untie this game with one swing. And a foul ball. The wind of the pitch. That's a strike, and it's 0 2. And down on strikes. And two straight set down to begin the bottom of the third. Well, big power guy right there and generating so much bat speed. It's hard to bring that to a halt once you've committed. They tried to check the swing, just couldn't do it. And next is the designated hitter, Jamer Candelario. That's in there. Strike one. Ripped on a line. Quad puts the squeeze on that one, and that is that. Cubs are down quietly. Still no score. As we go to the top of the fourth, now it's the Guardians DH, Jose Ramirez. And a pitch. And that drops in for a strike. Goodness, I think he just took the best pitch he's going to see in this at bat. You don't get many like that in that location. I don't know if you take that pitch against any pitcher out there on the mound. And the 0-1. Bottom of the zone and a called strike. That one ran inside, almost got him. Kicks and fires. Outside. Next offering is in the dirt. He should get a pretty good pitch to hit here with three-hole hitter coming up if he's walked. 
Here comes a 3-2. And so the lefty allows the leadoff free pass. That could jumpstart an offense that's really struggled to score in this one. Don't want to wake a team up with the free pass. Here's Josh Naylor. He struck out swinging at his first at bat. Here's the pitch. Run around the goal. Swing and a miss. Throw there. Safe. Good steal a second right there, and now the table is set for the middle of this order to drive in the first run of this ball game. I like that they're trying to manufacture some offense early on. Next pitch misses, and it's one and one. As a pitcher, you know the runner on second is ready to push things with his speed. A base hit's probably going to be a big run, so you really have to execute on the mound. Next offering is foul back. Here's a one-two. And a ball evens the count. Runner at second, nobody out. Make the play. The go ahead run moves up to third. He's held there with nobody out. Always feels amazing getting a job done when the team needs you to come through. It's just bigger than your own individual stats. Textbook back control right there. Got a pitch on the outside, saw it deep into the zone, and just barreled it up, went the other way for the knock. Runner in scoring position now, and a good opportunity to push across the first run of the ball game. Loriano comes up to hit. No outs. Runners at first and third. Next offering is in for a strike. I think ultimately you want to tie him up. Get the ball in on the plate so that he can't get the barrel. Got him! Huge strike out there. So he needed a strike out there and he got it. And now we'll see how they play it defensively. Yeah, now they can move the middle infielders back a little bit. Get into double play depth and look for a ground ball and roll it up get a big double play get out of this inning I tell you what that was a big strikeout in a spot where they really needed one Gonzalez in the box here lets that one go for a ball in this situation the batter's got to know what the pitcher's trying to do to him and that's trying to get him to hit the ball on the ground get two for one you gotta look for something up in the zone at worst case scenario you deliver the sacrifice fly Ramirez the runner at third Naylor at first one gone He's looking for a ground ball to get a double play and out of this jam. And the pitch. Battling here as he fouls it away. The one two. Gets a piece and stays alive. Runners are at the corners, one away. Also really good at bat. What I like about this guy, his bat stays in the zone for a long time. Gives him the ability to foul off tough pitches. Next pitch is outside. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Brian Rocchio up next. Three. Got him looking. That's a strikeout. Definitely a strikeout situation right there, and he got it. You do not want him to put the ball in play and want to strand that runner at third. Now all he needs is one more out to get it. Doesn't have to be a strikeout this time since now they're two outs. On the north side of Chicago, John Chambi and Chris Singleton stepping in as the switch hitting shortstop. Brian Rocchio. Lefty out of the stretch, runners at first and third. There's a strike. Corners are occupied with two down. That one inside, and it's two and one. The pitch. And now it's even up. That one missed. 
Bo Naylor waiting for a turn at the plate. And it's ball four. He missed down low. Oh, that sets up a really big at bat in this game. These are the moments when everyone in the stadium gets really locked in. Bo Naylor at the plate now. Flied out his first time. You know, this is kind of a tough matchup as a left-handed hitter facing a left-handed pitcher. What you tell yourself is, I want to stay square to the plate. Try to hit the ball over the shortstop's head. Curveball drops in for a strike. Tough situation right here. So important as a pitcher to get ahead in the count as he did right there. Base is loaded. Two down. Next pitch is outside. Man, oh man, I don't know how you take that pitch. That's as close as it gets. And a swing and a miss. That's out number three. So they're able to work around a pair of walks in the inning. On now to the bottom of the fourth. We're tied. Nothing, nothing. Bottom of the fourth, and now the right fielder, Alexander Canario. And he deals. Up and in, 1-0. and oh. He's been pitching well, but we'll see what kind of adjustment the hitters make this second time through the order. We'll know if he's got really good stuff in this one or not. Ball to strike. Trying to punt his way on. Down the line, and it's foul. Really going after him here. All fastballs to get ahead in the count. Lined into right. Gonzalez makes the play, and there's one down. Good piece of hitting right there. Nice hard line drive to the outfield. You're trying to get on base, represent that go-ahead run. Can't hang your head on that at all. Number 40, the next Cub to hit. He was a strikeout victim his first time. Line drive. Toss to Naylor. Already two gone here in the home four. And the batter now, Patrick Wisdom. Grounded out to short in his first trip. Oh, look out here. He's going to come up ready to swing in this situation. First nope. offering, oh. and it just misses. Lifted in the air, out to left. Quan settles underneath it. Puts the squeeze on that one, and that'll end the inning. Nothing happening there for the Cubs. And we're still knotted at zero. Back here at the ballpark, top five, John Shabby with Chris Singleton. And leading it off, Tyler Freeman. And the pitch. And there's the strike. Well, on paper, it's favorable to have a fairly quick inning here with two of the three hitters he's set to face batting from the left side, same side he throws from. Bo Armstrong makes the grab, and there's one down. Great swing of the bat right there, trying to get on as that go-ahead run. He just wasn't able to find a hole. Now it's the second baseman, Jose Tena, struck out swinging his first time. Not even close there. Ball one. And a strike in there.
kick. San Diego's. That misses the zone. Two balls and a strike. You don't want to get beat by a fastball in. And he spits on that one. Two one pitches in there, and the count is even. Left hand batter waits. Still two and two after the foul ball. And there's a ball. The only adjustment he needs to make is his target. If you aim at the outside corner, that slider's going to end up way off the plate. Perhaps look a little more down the middle, and you get it right where you want it. Got him looking for the strikeout. Not sure about that call. Pitcher might have gotten a friendly strike three. Well, big strikeout right there, and maybe a little controversial with the call. I think he got a little bit of favor on the mound. No question about it. It's not exactly what you want to see in a big spot like that, and I'm sure there's some chirping going on from the dugout, making it clear that wasn't his best call behind the plate today. And here is hey. Stephen Kwan. Here comes the 0-1. And a foul ball. Oh and two now. And that's a base hit. So Jose Ramirez now gets a chance with two gone. Well, that certainly feels good when you can win the at bat after being down in the count, up against it with two strikes right there. Solid swing from start to end, on time with everything, really good balance, nice extension, and he met it out front for the line drive knock. Now it's Jose Ramirez. And first offering is fouled off. If you're a base runner, you've got to stay dialed in here. Look for anything in the dirt. Try your best to get into scoring position. And a pitch. And one and two. One ball. Quan off of first with two away. Definitely got the hitter conscious of the pitch inside. Really think the outer half is open. Steele picks to first. Hammered and now maybe extra bases. Around second on his way to third. Coming home. He scores, and it's 1-0. Puts a run on the board and picks up an RBI. A well-deserved double on a great swing. Got everything going on time. He stayed balanced, and he squared it up about as well as you could possibly ask. And here's the first baseman, Josh Naylor. And Cleveland on top one zip. Curveball drops in there. Runner at second, two down. Next offering is in for a strike. Perhaps not quite ready to hit. First two pitches by him for a couple of strikes. Now back is against the wall. He's going to have to figure something out and figure it out quickly. The next pitch misses. One and two to Cal. Movement in the Cubs bullpen. Number 48 up and throwing. Alzali getting loose as well. One, two now. Started to go after it. Now we'll look down to third. That's a swing according to umpire Woody Keller. But a run will score in the inning on this RBI double. It's now 1-0.
and welcome back. We head to the bottom of the fifth, and now the first baseman, Jared Young. The right-hander back to work. And the pitch a little bit low, ball one. And another ball. And that one is inside. Now in this three ball count, down in the ball game, you've got to be very selective. Take your walk if they'll give it to you. 3 0 down. And there's the strike. In there at the knees. 3 2 down. Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. Oh, looking for a swing and miss right there or for the ump to help him out and make a call with that last pitch, but neither happened. Close pitch, but a good take to earn that walk. And up next for Chicago, Miguel Amaya. And there's no doubt that they'll feed off the energy from this crowd, right? I mean, yeah, I'd say the intensity level has gone up a few notches for sure. Pitch misses inside, and that is ball one. Tying run at first, the winning run at the plate. Next pitch is inside, and that's ball two. Swing and a high fly ball. That one out towards left center field, way back there. Gone! Ball game! He'll touch them all, and the Cubs walk it off for the win. Hitting a walk-off homer is the kind of thing you dream about growing up. You're in the backyard, you're creating the most pressure-packed scenario, and what do you do? You come through with the big swing. Well, he was living a childhood moment right there. Nice swing of the bat, nice win for the team. And your final score here today, 2-1. The Cubs go home a winner for Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show. I'm John Chomby saying so long.